Today we will talk on sugar utilization test or carbohydrate fermentation test. So the introduction of this um, sugar utilization test is um, so uh, this test is used to determine whether uh, any bacteria can ferment a specific carbohydrates. Carbohydrate fermentation or sugar utilization patterns are useful in differentiating among bacterial groups or species. So it is basically a test for the presence of acid or gas produced from carbohydrate fermentation or by sugar. Basal medium containing a single carbohydrate source such as like glucose, sucrose, lactose or any other carbohydrate is used for this um, purpose. So and a pH indicator um, such as android solution, bromocrosol purple, uh, uh, BCB, uh, bromothymol blue B BTB or phenol red is also present in the medium uh, which detects the lowering of the pH of the medium due to acid production. And also a small inverted tubes called Durham tube is also immersed or uh, immersed or placed inside the medium to test for the production of the gas uh, that is hydrogen or carbon dioxide. Now the main principle of this uh, carbohydrate fermentation states that um, when an organism ferment carbohydrate and acid or acid with gas are produced depending on upon the organism it involves and then substrate being fermented so the end product may vary uh, vary so a uh, common end product of bacterial fermentation uh, include like lactic acid acetic acid butyl alcohol carbon dioxide hydrogen etc so the production of the acid uh, that lowers the ph of the test uh, medium is detected by the change in the color uh, because of the ph indicator so this color change when um, uh, when sufficient amount of acid is produced as bacteria may not be able to utilize the pepton producing the alkaline byproduct now um, Durham tubes are inside uh, inserted upside down in the test tube to detect the gas production that is side um, then if this test organism deproduce gas then the gas is the uh, then the gas displays the media present inside the tube and gets trapped producing a visible air bubbles and also a phenyl uh, red is commonly used as a ph indicator in carbohydrate fermentation tests or sugar utilization tests so mm, in the media we are going to be using here is a phenol red broad or a purple broad which includes the pH indicator that is for the carbohydrate fermentation test pepton and a series of uh, tubes each with different uh, sugar now mm, uh, let us see the procedure of this test firstly you have to allow medium to warm to uh, room temperature prior to inoculation then inoculate the purple broad or the red uh, broad uh, with carbohydrate of choice with isolated colonies from an 18 to 24 hours pure culture of the test organism then inoculate a control tube of purple broad test in parallel with the carbohydrate based media so after that you have to incubate inoculated medium aerobically at 35 to 37 degrees centigrade for three to five days then you have to observe daily for the development of a uh, yellow color in the uh, medium now uh, remember that uh, the, if there is an increased incubation up to 30 days maybe like uh, it may be necessary for some microorganism so uh, you please remember that incubation up to 30 days may be necessary for some microorganism so coming to the interpretation here you can see um, three slide but mainly will be focusing only on the typical positive reaction and typical negative reaction as one is just uh, for the uh, as as the first tube is just an uninoculated un tube for the interpretation so in positive so in positive the development of a yellow color in the medium is indicative of a positive carbohydrate fermentation reaction so this is because um if there is a like um okay let us first talk on the <coughs> 
that's on the acid production then later will come to the gas production so if there is a positive in acid production so after incubation the liquid in the medium will turn yellow which is indicated by the change in the color of the phenol red indicator it also indicates that there is a drop in the ph because of the production of the acid by the fermentation of the carbohydrate sugar which is present in the media so um, in whereas in the negative acid production the tube containing medium will remain red indicating that bacteria cannot ferment the particular carbohydrate source uh, present in the media now let us come to the, um, to, to the interpretation based on the gas production so in that in the positive a bubble or a small or a big depending upon the like amount of the egg uh, amount of the gas that is produced will be seen in the inverted Duham tube now this inverted Duham tube is a very small tube like a, a kind of a test tube which we have to insert in the media to see the gas production so in case of positive a bubble um, small or big depending on the amount of gas produced will be seen in this tube in the small tube in the inverted Duham tube not in the test tube but in the Durham tube whereas in the negative gas production there won't be any bubbles in the inverted Durham tube that is uh, because the bacteria does not produce gas from the fermentation of that particular carbohydrate which is present in the media for example like an aerogenic organism so remember that mm, test tube is different your Durham tube is different so here in this um, sugar ferment uh, sugar utilization test or carbohydrate fermentation test we have got two types of interpretation one is based on the acid production and one is based on the gas production for the gas production uh, sorry for the acid production there will be a development of a yellow color in the medium in case of positive whereas in negative um, there will be a lack of yellow color development which is will be the indicative of um, carbohydrate fermentation uh, negative test whereas in the gas production the positive will show a bubble inside the inverted uh, Durham tube whereas in negative there won't be any bubbles in the inverted Durham tube so this is all about the uh, carbohydrate fermentation test or sugar utilization test